What's up, Guitar Heroes? My name is Nathan Whitney. Today we are going to unbox a Helix rack. So let's get to it. If you've just bought a Helix rack, it's gonna come in a box like this. This slides off. Got a Helix floor down here. I've always wanted to have one just up on the desk, and then I can also take my Helix floor out on the road. So this part off. You see the front and it's got tape. Does it peel off? It does-ish. This is gonna be the most exciting part of the video. Scissors. Open. We're gonna open this up, and here's what's inside. I'm gonna take it out. You can see right here, it's a little USB drive, Helix on it. If the camera will ever focus with this light, Helix. All right, from what I understand, documentation's on there, like manuals and stuff. In the box, we've got this little bag that has power cable, so that's great. I'm gonna put that over here. Ooh. We've got the USB cable that we can plug into our computers and use HX Edit, the editing software. And we can also use the Helix as an audio interface. Boom. What else is in here? Information for users on collection and disposable of old equipment. Woo! Here we go. Let's get this out. Underneath, we've got the Helix Rack Control Cheat Sheet. All your inputs and outputs and stuff like that. Super handy. And then... The unit itself, nicely packaged. Important, by breaking the seal, you are agreeing to the terms of the end user license agreement. That is, I have never read that. And, all right, there we go. Pretty awesome, unboxed. Okay, now let's move on to putting it in a rack. Rack is going in the rack. What you're gonna need is a screwdriver. And why do you need a screwdriver? Because you need rack screws. You'll see, we've got some Phillips heads. But before we start screwing things in, I'm gonna run the power cable and the USB cable through and plug in the Helix. Take the power cable on the Helix. Power is on the right hand side and the USB is just below it. I'll put this through, USB, put this through here, just to make my life more difficult. I'm gonna put this upside down and I'm gonna plug in the power and I'm gonna plug in the USB and we're gonna flip it around so you can see me drop it in. So here we go, in to the rack. Perfect. We've got the Helix in the rack and now I'm going to tighten it in. I'm gonna do this one. Before I get it on the desk, I forgot I've also got this. A brown box. The Helix Control as well. What's in this box, you're asking? Let's find out. Another piece of tape. Helix rack. We've got the Ethernet cable. That's what I wanted to get out of here. The control. Before I get to the control, and I want to make sure I've got the Ethernet cable. Take a little bit of cable out. Yeah, that much. And plugged in. All right, it's on the desk. Got it plugged in to power. I've got it plugged into USB hub. Technically, you're not supposed to plug it into a USB hub. Uh, there might be some communication issues between the Helix and the computer. In my experience, I haven't had any issues. Turn this on. Firmware version 1.06.5. That's old. <laughs> We just got the update to 3.5 last week. Now that I've got the Helix on the desk, it's got power and I saw what firmware version is 1.06 something. We have to update to 3.5, so let's do that now. First thing we're gonna do is go to the Line 6 website. I've already signed into my account, so if you don't have a Line 6 account, make sure you sign in. The very first thing we're going to do is download the latest version of HX Edit, the computer editing software for the Helix. So we're going to go to Downloads. I'm gonna choose our hardware, which is the Helix. I'm gonna choose software, HX Edit, and I'm on Mac OS X. There's a lot of release notes. Important, the 3.5 update may take 30 minutes or more to complete. This is totally normal as it includes significant improvements to Helix Core and thousands of IR files. It's good to know that. With HX Connected, you can launch HX Edit 3.01 or higher. I do have HX Edit on my computer. Let me open that up and let me turn on my Helix. All right, it's open. Let's see what happens here. We see it's recognizing Helix Rack 
but it's not connecting. Now, this sometimes happens if you're not connected directly to a USB connection on your computer. I'm going through a hub right now. I just want to demonstrate something. I'm going to turn on my Helix Floor, which is plugged into the same hub as the Helix Rack. It is booted up. Let's see here. Ah, Helix Floor, HX Edit. Updates are available for your Helix Floor. Click OK to view and install these updates. I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna take you through the website process. But you see the Helix Floor is connected through the same hub, but it's not connecting. So I, I think it's an older firmware that's not allowing HX Edit to connect. Before I do anything, I'm just going to see if updating to HX Edit 3.5 makes a difference, if it'll allow Helix Rack with old firmware to connect. Let's just get the download. Downloading and open, double click to install, continue. This software is compatible with Helix Rack version 3.0 or higher. Maybe I won't be able to see it in HX edit. Agree, install, it's writing it. Great, close. Let's just double check. It sees, so the computer's recognizing the Helix Rack, but it's not connecting Here's what I've learned in videos that I've watched before. When you have older firmware, you have to update the firmware with the Line 6 updater. Let's go to Helix Rack. I'm not Mac OS X. Let's just search for, through all the software. And Line 6 updater, that is where we're at. This is what's going to allow Helix Rack on the old firmware to update. So we're gonna get that download and we are downloading. Open. Line 6 updater. And it's going to say line six updater.pkg can't be open because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. That happens sometimes on a Mac. Uh, if you're on Windows, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on, but on Mac, you go down to system preferences to security and privacy, and then general down here at the bottom, line six updater.pkg was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Open anyway. Open. There we go. Continue, continue, continue. We're going to agree install install software great we're going to go to applications line six line six updater signing in oh it's not seeing it <laughs> let's try turning the rack off and on again we did that hx edit popped up again can't see it there i'm going to try turning on the Helix Floor again and see Oh, the Helix Floor is on. More fun things to figure out. When in doubt, try a different cable. I didn't even get around to trying a new cable. Oh, that cable's right here. I, I restarted Line 6 Updater and both my Helix Floor and my Helix Rack popped up. Should be popping up. You see it's bouncing there. This is what happened last time. So I'm just restarting Line 6 Updater. There we go. Uh, my Helix Floor is still plugged in. You can see it's at 3.15 and my Helix Rack is at 1.06.5. Let's do Helix Rack. 3.5. When using Line 6 Updater on Mac OS Big Sur Monterey Inventor, you must leave Line 6 Updater in focus throughout the entire update process. Updating shutdown, any programs that use audio like DAWs, iTunes, Spotify, video games, etc. So I'm recording in Logic right now, so I'm going to shut that down and we're just going to go to camera audio. Here we go. All right, update in progress. Do not turn off or unplug your device at this time. Updating to this release requires resetting the device twice. Do not be alarmed. Okay. All right. Look at that. It is now on version 3.5. Perform a factory reset. I'm pretty sure it just did a factory reset, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna turn it off. Now it's five and six. So it's resetting everything, rebuilding again. Let it happen. We'll check it out after it's done. All right, now that the Helix is updated, the last part is the control. Let's open up HX Edit. All right, here's the Helix rack, and let's see what happens. What I remember, as soon as I plug in the Ethernet cable from the Helix, it will push an update. Plugging in. Oh, got to turn on the switch. There you go. Everything is there. It says Helix control must be updated to work properly. Update now. Okay, entering update mode, programming new firmware. All right, it's done. And let's just do a little test. Expression pedal two is the volume pedal. We've got a volume pedal in this preset. Plug into expression pedal two. Let's go to HX edit. And we've got volume position up and down. Volume pedal is going up and down. 
Helix rack unboxing, putting it in the rack, updating the 3.5 using the Line 6 updater, and pushing the firmware to the control, and testing the control using an expression pedal. Now that it's all working, let's check out a few of the presets. Thanks for checking out my Helix rack unboxing video. This was lots of fun for me. I learned a lot about the Helix. I hope it was beneficial for you too. All right, we'll see you on the internet.